First, we began tonight in Lexington County with images many will never forget. The 2015 flood. But it's not just incident li incidents like this that people worry about. It's those everyday thunderstorms that can cause flooding in Lexington communities. Tonight, residents voicing their concerns on what they think should be included in a new flood plan there. News 19's Eleanor Tabone tells us more. I'll never forget the day, October 5th, 2015. John Klinger from Old Mill Brew Pub says he was working when the 1,000 year flood damaged hundreds of buildings. It took a good portion of our restaurant. We were underwater. Right now where I'm standing right now, it had been up to my hips. More than 100 roads were also deemed impassable and 19 people died. Parts of the Midlands saw more than 20 inches of rain. That 2015 flood, we had seven dams in Lexington County that were breached. The Lexington County Planning Committee is beginning to update its floodplain management plan, asking the public for input in the planning process. They want to hear from people in the community about what areas are more prone to rising waters, while also looking for suggestions on how to reduce stormwater flooding in the county. In the course of 10 years, uh, I've had my uh, backyard flood from stormwater damage. We're getting more and more water. As for John, he wants the county to inspect all dams regularly to ensure they can withstand another rain event. 100% inspections. Uh, it, this has to be done correctly. You never anticipate the power of water. It's surreal. That's another way to put it than it's surreal. The planning committee encourages people to fill out the flood plan survey so they can have a better understanding of what needs to be included. Adding major changes will depend on data from FEMA. In Lexington, Ellen Waterbone, News 19 WLTX. And the planning committee now plans to have another public forum before the new plan is released in the fall. Right now that date hasn't been set. You can find the link to the flood plan survey on our website tonight. Simply go to WLTX.com.